And this is verse number 21 of Surah Ar-Rum. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he has created for you from you a spouse from whom or with whom or by whom you will achieve comfort and solace and you will be able to achieve a lot of inner peace through your spouse and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this definitely there are signs for those who ponder those who ponder you want to know ponder over it Allah has created a gift a gift for us in the form of our spouses but the reality, my brothers and sisters, is when we get married and we have not quit our sins, then it is like, for example, baking a cake, a cake and forgetting to put sugar in it completely. So it might be prepared. It looks so nice. Have a bite and you find, oh, this thing here, instead of sugar, we put salt. Wow, who would like that cake? No one. So what happens to us? We have the ingredients of a happy life. We have the ingredients of goodness. You just need to quit your sin and dedicate work hard on your marriage. If you think marriage is a perpetual honeymoon, it's going to break tomorrow morning once the honeymoon is over. Because marriage is the greatest sacrifice. You need to sacrifice a lot. Your time, your effort, your energy, no room for laziness. Work hard, come back, spend on your wife and children. The wives need to work very hard to build that marriage. You need to be honest. You need to close your eyes upon whom you have. Allah has bestowed you with. You need to work hard. Understand that you have a responsibility to follow through the generations for the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tazawwaju al-waduda al-walud fa inni mubahim bikum al-ummah yawm al-qiyamah. According to one of the narrations, get married to the loving. Those who are child-bearing, they can continue having more and more children because I would like to be through the children that you have, the Nabi who has the most number of followers. Subhanallah. So if we have children, but none of them are followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we can act, we can say we have not contributed correctly. But if we are genuine and we realize, then instead of being busy having an affair this side and that side, we are actually be busy building our children. The child is growing up. Come on, you have a responsibility. Take him to the masjid. You know what? Let him see how you speak. He will speak beautifully. Let him see that you abstain from vulgar language. Let him see how you address your wife. He will speak to his mother with utmost respect. When your child watches you swearing your wife, that's his mother, he will grow up in your absence. He will utter words 10 times worse that will upset you as well. But he learned it from you and vice versa. You know, before we used to speak of wife bashing. Today we've got to speak of husband bashing as well, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our men and women. Your energies should be used for salah and for the obedience of Allah. Stop beating each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to utilize these energies.